All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab is in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with the P Custom Knives uh, front flipper here with me for a quick maintenance video. But hey, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below right here and leave me a comment down below if you are wanting to express yourself and share with me your thoughts. Let's go ahead, start. Uh, T10. Oh, I thought it was T10. No, I was wrong. What is that, a T9? And it is indeed a T9, very well. Let's do that. So this is a P Custom Knives. It's uh, not very well uh, documented knife. Uh, it's a pretty interesting one for sure. Um, tip down carry, by the way. Uh, so, and here you're gonna need, what is this? That's a T10. That is very interesting. So you got a T9 for the pivot and a T10 for the um, handle scales. One and two up here. So let's just keep them in order because they look a little bit different in size. This is, a, uh, I think this is fat carbon right over there and you got look at that another t10 for the liner who i really love this amazing wow that's fantastic finding t10 in a in the liner usually they do like t5 or like some ridiculous oh this guy is running on washers look at that so we do have some uh, informations here like uh, mh uh, i don't know probably 2020 and that is uh tight i don't know guys let me know in the comments down below please if you do have any more informations about this one uh, because i'm curious here you can see the track the marks uh, on for them of the machining it's there's no uh, skeletonization going on for this one. Uh, you do have uh, phosphorus bronze washers. Uh, it is a Russian custom, of course. And uh, let's clean this up. I'm thinking maybe now for oh, by the way, this is S125 V steel, guys. It's not like a pitchy pochy, how they say, right. This is S125 steel. I mean, for example, Shirogorov is using S25, uh, 125 only in the full custom um, ones. So uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty high-end steel for sure. All right, guys, we're done. Let's go back, put this uh, uh, washer here. I'm gonna use 10 weight nano oil. Why not three drops over here? And then I'll just uh, stick the blade in and I'm gonna do one, two and three and one for the win for the pivot and one for the win for the detent ball as well. Uh, the second washer is in indeed. Let's do that later and uh, we can do this. Oh, the pin is here. This guy can is gonna be there. So this guy can go right over here. I'm just gonna do uh, the pivot now because that's T9, curiously. And the pivot is in. We're gonna take care of that in a bit because we want to do this first. So uh, let's do actually this one first, which was this guy right over here. All right. And boom, and this is in. That's pretty cool, guys, that, uh, I mean, T10 for the liners. Ooh, that's insane. Love it. And this is done. So then we're gonna do um, these two guys right over here. We got the short one, which goes up top, right there. And a little bit longer one, which goes in the back right over here. And that is done. Uh, switch 
T9. It's, uh, it's smooth for sure, but you're not gonna get any drop shot action out of this one because of course it's on washer, but still you can maybe, yeah, thumb flick it. Probably, yeah, you can spidey flick it. You can front flip it, or you can use two hands and just be nice and deploy it like that. But overall, man, it's like, yeah, no drop for, uh, shot action for sure, but it's interesting, it's different. I kind of like it. There's uh, this thing I don't like, but yeah, it's yeah, very cool. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.